What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Lux, a.k.a. The Merry Gamer. And um, I wanna, I'm testing out something today because I've been noticing uh, over the past couple days while I've been playing this game, the amount of heavy punch modified uh, punches the CPU has been, been throwing, but it's not equating to a loss in stamina over the course of the fight like it should. So, I'm going to just block. That's three jabs he's thrown. Okay, now he, Calzaghe threw three jabs and one right hook, it looked like. Let me look at the fight totals. All right. So, actually, he, I guess that was three straights he threw and one jab. So, in any event, it looks like out of those, I don't know if that jab was the power. As you can see at the bottom, it shows one power shot. So, out of the four punches he's thrown, he's also thrown one power shot, which, in essence, should take more drain off of his stamina but also you should be able to see it coming because he has to it takes a slightly longer to deliver a heavy power shot in this game but I didn't notice that and it's like the CPU they, they don't there's no you no know, wind up or there's no adjustment for when they're throwing a power shot it's just like it's it blends in with the regular punches and as we all know a power punch in, in the boxing world is basically any punch other than a jab. So, you know, he's thrown three straights. So obviously one of those straights would have to have been a heavy modified power shot, so to speak, in this game. By the nature of the punch, a straight should be considered a power shot. But we'll see. So let's see. And it's harder for the human player to throw a power shot. Okay, I just threw a hook that missed. But look, you'll see right here, it shows one left hook, but it wasn't a power. Sh I didn't hold down the right bumper for a power modified left hook. So, and as you can see, he punched me with the, with the jab. So look, so basically his jab was the power shot. As you can see, now he's, he's thrown seven punches. Uh, three of those punches were power shots, but he connected on one. And as we just looked right before, he had connected at one out of three straights, but zero out of one jab. So now he's connected with a jab, and they're counting that as a power shot. So it's like they're, they're giving the CPU the ability to use heavy modifiers on the, on the jabs, which is in the game. You can do it. Even the humans can, you know, human control players can do it as well. But it seems like it's 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 so seamless for the AI to throw it. it there's no risk at it, you know, no risk for the AI to throw that punch. So I mean, I'm trying to figure this whole thing out. Like, why is it like that? Okay, now you see you see my stamina. Let me go back real quick. Watch my stamina. It was just <clears throat> it was a. Uh, it was getting low because I was holding down the heavy punch modifier. And you see, I've th now I've thrown five punches for the heavy punch modifier. Two have connected. And then he's thrown eight. <laughs> and four of those have connected, which he has two counters already. So it seems like they have the AI has a uh, definite advantage when it comes to the counters punches and when it comes to throwing power shots. And I don't know if that was by design or if that was something that that ratio was not really looked into that well to say, okay, they shouldn't be able to throw this many power shots. I mean, he shouldn't be coming out putting all his power behind eight of his punches out of the 17 that he's thrown in the first round. I mean, that's just kind of crazy. So let's look at the settings. Let's go look at these sliders and see if we can find a way to tune some of this stuff. Uh, so referee foul awareness, referee damage awareness, we'll leave those as they are. Boxer power, I really don't want to mess with this because boxer power affects both boxers, CPU and human controlled boxers. So I think the power is probably balanced right where it is. Boxer speed, I mean it's, that's really on a personal preference where you would want to put it. Uh, I have noticed that the heavyweights, they do fight a little more sluggish. Um, even in the first round, they, their punches are a lot slower. I don't know if they, they probably need to make some adjustments for that. Physical damage, toughness, boxer, boxer accuracy. I mean, yeah, I don't need any adjustments on that because I'm already missing everything. Boxer stamina. So the counter punch window. This is the only thing that I've modified. At, originally, the counter punch window is like like right here by default. 
I'm gonna give you a big long time to do a counter punch window and um, I figured if I tuned if I turned down the counter punch window the AI wouldn't get as many counter punches on me like they do because they get some really cheap ones so CPU offensive awareness CPU defensive awareness uh, and then the CPU and I also turned down the CPU punch output so it looks like the only option we may have is to kind of tune the punch output but I don't want to do that at the risk of just letting them become a punching bag either so you know offensive awareness that may be something that you may want to tweak um, so let's try to tweak offensive awareness down one notch and see what happens all right okay so he already had what eight punches that were power punches he just threw two more let's see where those went okay so <clears throat> so those are just regular punches all right so let's see where we are now four power he has eight power shots thrown i have five so now let's see how effective the rest of this round goes and then we'll come back and check out the the punch totals See, that was a, I think that was a counter punch opportunity for the CPU. Oh, wow. So, of course, he, he stuns me a little bit. But I think I've already opened up a cut. And based on Kalzagi's ratings, he does have a tendency to be cut very easily. So, he seems to be getting all the counter punches. I mean, I had a counter punch moment. But for some reason, my punch didn't connect. See, look at that. My hook, I mean, it's like he can... I may have to adjust the offense, the defensive awareness. Of course, I missed my counter punch opportunity. Damn, he's cut up pretty bad already. Look at that. That's first round. All right, so he's already had 75% damage. Dang. But he has, okay, so look, look he's got 99% of his stamina back. Uh, and he only recovered 8%, and I recovered 8%, and I got 97. So I'm down 3% of my stamina. He's down 1%. But now let's see this. Let's look at the fight totals from the first round. So from the first round, look, he has now thrown a total of 45, 45, I'm sorry, not 45, 34 power shots. 34 power shots out of a 78 punches thrown. And if you subtract 14 of those jabs, which really shouldn't even be power shots, but we know, that, we know now that um, he's using power to throw his jabs as well, even though he's not a jabber. Uh, I mean, that would have been, what, 64? So it's almost 50% of his punches are power shots. So why is that? He had nine counter punch opportunities in that round, and I only got one. I mean, it just seems a little off balance. I mean, I know a lot of it, you know, it could be to my inexperience or me learning the game or me slowing down and being more methodical with my punches. I understand all that, but I think there's still a kind of unbalanced uh, percentage of power shots that the CPU throws and the amount of counter punch opportunities that they get because uh, counter punch opportunities are supposed to be uh, two ways one if you hit hold down the block button at the right at the perfect timing where the punch is thrown or if you uh, move out of the way using the bob and weave or the sliding to the left or right when the punch is thrown so that it miss those are the ways you can get counter punches so as you can see, I mean, we threw about the, almost the same identical number of punches. I threw one more punch than he did. 
Um, but again, I mean, he, he threw a lot more right hooks than I did. I didn't connect any right hooks. So it just seems like it's, you know, kind of a little unbalanced. So now he threw 34. 34 power shots. And yet he only lost 1% of his stamina. I threw five power shots and I lost 3% of my stamina. I mean, it, it doesn't balance out very well. Especially when we threw the same number of punches. So, I don't know. Something needs, I'm, I'm going to work on the sliders to kind of tweak some of this stuff so it's a little more balanced. Uh, but don't let, don't let this, what I'm showing you today, don't let this take away from the game. The game is still great. It's still a fantastic game to play. So, uh, don't worry about, you know, if the game is cheating or anything like that. I'm not saying the game is cheating. I just think there's a, I don't think there's a good balance between it's the CPU throwing power shots and not getting a, a reduction in stamina because of it. All right, so this is just a little video, something I've been kind of noticing. I wanted to put something out real quick. Um, I may revisit this subject once I get a little more data behind it and, and tweaking with the sliders to see if it balances things out. But uh, it's your boy Mr. Lux signing off. Peace.